great masks from Bedgebury School using tissue paper and PVA glue mixed with a little bit of water. Now, how do you get the shape of the face, I hear you ask? Try a balloon. Mind you, you will notice that a balloon has got a smooth surface and your face has got all these bubbles on it, like your eyebrows, your nose, your mouth and your chin. Well, you can make these using plasticine or modelling clay. Now, it's just a case of sticking these with sticky tape onto your balloon so you get something that looks like that. And then you get an old shoebox and you press your balloon into the shoebox so it holds it nice and firmly. Then you get some lengths of tissue paper, some strips, and you just literally slop on some PVA glue mixed with water. Now, the idea is to get it onto the face area of the balloon. And again, going, going over all the modelling clay that you've used. Get another strip there. Put some on there. That's it. Keep going right over the face. And it doesn't matter if it isn't neat. And again, it doesn't matter about these tassely bits hanging over the edge, because it all adds to the mask effect. Keep going till you've completely covered the face and then do it another four times. So that's five times all together. And you'll find that when it's dry, if you leave it overnight, it will look something like that. Now, as you can see, the PVA goes nice and shiny. And if I tap it there, you can see that it's hard. Then the good bit. I really enjoy doing this. Close your eyes. You burst the balloon and you take out the balloon and all this modelling clay from inside, and you are left with this. There it is, your very own tissue paper mask. I think that looks brilliant. Look at that. Of course, you can decorate them. Do it any way you want. You could try the stripey effect. Or you could even put on some glitter and some ribbon. And you could go the whole hog and try some sequins, glitter and ribbon all on one mask.